Hi guys, this is Sean Prime one here, back with another video review. And today we'll be looking at the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, The Fallen. So here he is in his Cybertronian aircraft type thing mode? Question mark? I mean, I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's a nice thing. It, it kind of, in some series that I've seen in stop motions, they use this guy as the nemesis. Which I could see that him being the nemesis. I'm kind of giving you the full 360 like I did with Starscream. It does have a little landing gear. Which can be brought up. Same on, and he got some on his legs. He was a nice figure. He's nice and spiky and very, very accurate to the Revenge of the Fallen, well, Fallen character. So anyway, let's get him into his robot mode. So first we want to do is untab the legs on each side. Ah, this one's kind of tricky. Flip that up. Rotate these down like so. Take these spikes, put them up, and I'm going to put a little suitcase down. A little back so this is kind of easier. And you want to get this at an angle. You want to rotate the, the knees, of course. And bring them down because they usually are like this. You want to bring them down a little bit. Then you want to rotate the feet, like so. Let's see. Yep, I think I got them on the angle. All right. As for the, re you know, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna angle up the camera. I'm gonna have to do it one way or another. Yeah, there's my big tower of angling up camera stuff. You want to unpeg the arms, rotate them. They do pop off kind of easy. And some of the some of the parts on here do pop off rather easy. Still is a nice figure though. Pull those off. Oh, you want to rotate these out like so. Forgot to mention that. My bad. Rotate him right here. Flip the head down. Take these little red bits, put them in, then put it back. In the back, flip that all the way down, flip that up. Or you can do it like this. Kinda helps your articulation. No matter any way you do it. And you're just gonna bring the arms down. And then these feet are spring loaded, so you wanna make sure that you get them down correctly. And here we have the Fallen in his robot mode. Oh, one more thing you want to flip these. Very, very small adjustment, but it, but it, it's in the instructions. And this looks freaking awesome. For a size comparison, here he is with Starscream. But this thing looks freaking awesome. Love this figure. Love this figure. Articulation the head and kind of moves. He has this joint right here. Arms move in and out, rotates, full 360. In and out on this joint, bend, double bend at the elbow, and then has wrist articulation. Legs move forward, kind of back if you move these. It'll give you the full 360. So uh, it's good to give you the option. Rotate here on the legs, and then rotate here on the feet. So this guy is jam-packed with articulation. You can get him in nearly any pose you want him to. And then to get him into his kind of sun harvesting thing, you want to pull back the head. Get those red bits out. It usually was for just doing it like that, but I like to do it like this. You're basically just exposing his red bits. And then you want to flip out these red bits. And these red bits in the back, you can just kind of fold them out, but I kind of prefer to do that. And here he is harvesting our sun. But he is rather awesome. My grade on him has to be like a nine, like a nine point four. My only issue with him is that some of the parts can kind of fall off of him. I'm just gonna put these out because I really that mode is just kind of a why did you add that? Or maybe like a super mode, like a power mode or something like that, I don't know. 
overall, he is a very, very nice figure. Highly recommended. If you want to get all the Revenge of the Fallen figures, if you don't have him, you need him. So anyway, I think that's about all I have to say. So, be sure to check out my channel for Transformers video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. And this is Sean Brian, signing out.